Hello, welcome to another one. You know it's gonna be a good one when it's full screen. It's one of the crazy ideas and one of the one of the million, you know. Just one gonna hit, so keep on trying those ideas. And hopefully this one works, you know. So today I'm just thinking let's just do something and record what I like to do. So I just like to go to Reddit and try to Yeah. It's something I find uh, interesting lately. I want to try to just talk to people, have conversations, give meaningful co- f- feedback of what I think without being judged of whatever I'm saying. So maybe it's troll, maybe not. Let's find out. And also maybe some Omegle in the meantime was thinking. You never know. They have really good conversations sometimes, but you have to find uh, the gems into... Yeah, in the rubble, I would say, or how you say it. I don't know what the expression is in English, whatever. Um, Let's get this going. So, yeah. All right. I wrote my first text, so I don't know if you can read this. Um, So basically, this person um, is living with with the boyfriend, with her boyfriend that is not as driven, not as motivated as her to achieve these goals in life, like getting a house, going on nice vacations having multiple kids and basically she's worrying about what if it not doesn't go well will we break up and what will happen to the money will I remain of keep the most of it because I pay more so she's basically just worried about the financial situation if things go bad um, which in itself is, is maybe an indication that she's also thinking about such stuff and that could be very good in a sense but also gives away that you are looking already for a way out, maybe in some possible sense. I don't know. I have not been there yet. Maybe I'm just ignorant on that on that uh, note, but whatever. Um, so basically what I said, uh, when you always try to do with persons telling something, um, is start off with something positive. You want to say something that they did well about sharing their story about something they mentioned or some aspect of their conversation that you liked and you just say hey, I said for example awesome to you such a driven person and realizing what is important for your life which is so valuable I think understanding what you like to have in life and know that it is within your reach if you put in the effort is definitely something very valuable I think a lot of us don't have these clear goals or not a real idea of what we want to achieve in life and the steps we have to take towards getting toward there. Um, so this is definitely something very good about her. She knows what she wants and she's working towards it. That's a very good aspect. Uh, next I say, what I take away from this short uh, snip of context is that I believe you both might have different views of what the life might look like. So what we think will make us happy and when we achieve that is all very speculative we don't really know until we get there that oh, okay this is what i'm happy with or this is not what i'm happy with so i think if you do a cro- cross come across something that you think oh this gives me happiness and i don't really want to achieve anything more than that that's definitely something very valuable so i say that later on also um so one thing to have certain things in life definitely is a good thing If it drives you in a direction you feel comfortable or not too uncomfortable in. So basically, if you think you can reach it with being a little little bit uncomfortable, it's definitely something you want to try. Um, Even if you fail, you still learn from, okay, these parts worked for me and these parts didn't work. And maybe next time you can find a solution to if a problem comes comes near near that area. Damn. Not easy being uh, this... Uh, talking this much when being too stoned but whatever it's just an activity I like to do Um, so the last part though not wanting more and feeling comfortable where you are in life is also a valuable state to be in that's what I said before Uh, which is not easy to not as easy to attain as we think it is I think that's very obvious the most of us are still looking for the place where we will be happy not a lot not a lot of us are living actually in a state of pure happiness with what they're doing everybody's like looking to the future and then I'll be happy and then I have the things I want and then I can make my life worthwhile or whatever it was all worthwhile the effort I guess 
Um, so we all basically are pretty much working towards it. Um, I end off with something. I end off with something positive again. So basically, basically, this is a sandwich method. You give something positive, you give some feedback, and then you end with a positive note. So I believe you can figure this out with him. Talk about what matters for each other and try to find the middle ground. Uh, so yeah, basically that's it. Okay. Um, I get way too sidetracked on this response. My response is actually, I think, three times, four times as long as this guy's original post. Um, but basically it's some somebody who's just had a lot of fears in his mid-twenties. I think this is very natural. So I basically explained this whole thing and also gave him a real life example of what I'm going through so he knows that I'm the same. So first, of obviously you start off with something positive. Um, thank you for sharing this. It's not easy to talk about these things and sometimes a stranger might click something for you on the right moment. Basically, it happened to me a few times in my life that people said something in the right place in the right time and you never know what might click and what might not or what might work and doesn't work. Um, so I started off with uh, telling you that, I, that you are just as normal or weird, whatever scale you are using, as me or the next person. Uh, we're all trying to make heads or tails about where life is taking us and most of the time we don't see it ourselves until we get there or don't get there. I find that the beauty of life, the aspect of unpredictability, as none can see in the future. We are who we are and nothing can change that except for ourselves. I can go on for, forever about such topics but Reddit posts are not the best format for that. As a little sneaky... Uh, <laughs> Sent as I put at the end, hopefully they will click through my profile maybe and then find uh, this, maybe this video even, you know. If you're looking and I'm reading your uh, statement, then I just feel like total reward as you know. It's full circle then. Anyways, so how I look at this situation, which we can all find ourselves in sometimes, is that you have to start building a team of positive habits. I myself don't have a lot of positive habits, so I'm still building my team, but it's something that takes time, you know? You have to take pride and time and sweat and tears to get there, so it would not be fun if it was like, oh, I worked two months towards this job or this, uh, sorry, this goal, and I already achieved it, so it's something you probably have to do your whole life and just have a team of positive habits, habits support you, you know? When you fall down, when you feel lost, you can just go to the gym and you instantly feel better. That's how I look at it at this point, at least. Anyways, humans are very habitual beings and we like to do repeat. We like to repeatedly do things, especially when we become be better at them. This can go for the negative things, but more importantly, for positive things too. The idea I use here is that you want to put as much steps in between negative habits and less than the steps in between positive ones. Sounds easy, but can be very tricky in practice, as your mind will also resist against initial change. I talked about this extensively on other podcasts, so um, I won't go in here in detail. Um, I'll give an example that here what I'm doing right now. I have a weed addiction, I'm trying to find a balance about how much I can sit back, basically smoking nowadays, not not optimal, I know, and how much I want to achieve in life. It is a difficult thing to find and I don't even know it, if it exists, so I'm saying to myself that sport goes, hmm, well, it's a little bit weird, um, jump there, let me, okay, so I did uh, little, little sentences, um, <clears throat> so, it is a difficult thing to find and don't even know if it exists, but that doesn't stop me from trying to work towards it. Maybe it exists, maybe not, who can tell? Only the one that went in that direction. Mm. Alright, so only you can tell if you go in that direction and try it out for yourself. So I'm saying to myself, Maybe myself is better for myself. Only you can tell if you go in that direction, try it out. For only, 
only I can tell if I if I go in that direction, try it out for myself. So I'm having so I'm saying to myself that sport goes over smoking, so I started telling myself to at least go sporting every day and I smoked on a day. So I started telling myself to at least go sporting every day. If I smoked on a day that I shouldn't. On a day that I shouldn't. Basically conditioning myself and after a while I can tell I'm enjoying those dream moments. Yeah, this happened to me twice this week. I was not feeling really the, the week and or the day. And I just went to the gym because I smoked during the day, obviously today. So I also went to the gym today. And yeah, it just made me feel better. It made me think about stuff while I was gymming and also got a workout in. So win-win. Um, anyways, you feel bad about yourself. You feel bad about yourself thinking you let to... We... We feel bad about ourselves thinking we let the world and everyone around us down. But then, but then we did something good for ourselves and we got progression out of that, something to be proud of. Anyways, way too long answer, but I got a bit sidetracked. I wanted to share with you that we all have anxieties and things you want to achieve, but don't always know how. And that is more than okay. It is just actually normal. Try to identify the points you want to improve improve upon first and analyze what behavior triggers rewards are stimulating you to do such a thing such a thing I know you can do it biceps emoji bench I thought of ending with something personal um, maybe it works maybe don't I don't know anyway here goes alright we have our third contender for tonight um, ok replacement 5014 seems like a throwaway account, but whatever. In the subreddit self improvement, um, basically similar to the previous guy, um, somebody who's a bit lost in life, doesn't see, think there is a way out, and had maybe some more traumatic experiences. So she's in therapy, she's getting help by a professional. So obviously, I don't want to give comments or suggestions on that part. Um, so I started off so with something positive. Thank you for sharing this difficult situation with us or with me. Oh. With me, it's hard to talk about ourselves in such a way that exposes us to vulnerabilities. I see you and the fact that you're actively trying to prove upon your situation is what I admire in you. Um, so I really think she had some things she was trying, like therapy, it's not something very easy. I have no experiences with it myself, so I cannot imagine the strength she must have had to actually do that. Um, so I really admire her in that way. Um, also, I say I think there's a lot of unpack in your life. I do believe that I'm not adequate enough to speak about such topics as I've not encountered them myself. I'm really glad that you are working with a professional to improve your well-being. It's basically a second layer to the sandwich. Um, the only piece of advice I can give to you is the idea of positive thinking. It might be something you've heard many times before, but I do believe that this is the root of where everything can turn around. Our mind is a powerful tool which we almost need a whole life to master. Start by analyzing your thoughts and stop yourself when you're going in a downward spiral. Just like a traffic light that becomes red the second you wanted to cross the street. Yeah, 
Inversely, train of thoughts that are going in an upward spiral should get green lights all the should get green lights all the way. Start by focusing on one positive aspect. I can tell from your short text you have some already and try to enhance that aspect to be more positive positively for yourself. I know you can do it. You are meant for greater things than what you know to but you know what you now believe. I know you can do I know you can do it. You are meant for greater things than what you now believe to be. Badge. Okay. I got that one. Whoa, it was pretty difficult. Um, but I'm getting a bit too sober now, I think. Uh, I have to get one more and then we'll do maybe a few more um, posts when I come back. I'll see about that. Uh, depends on the strength, I guess. <laughs> um, so anyways, if it's not uh, the last one, I'll see you in the next one. And otherwise, bye-bye. Okay, we actually got back. So, part two, I guess. Um, this guy is trying to stop weed, smoking weed. Um, he caved, he's, he tried again, he caved again. So he's analyzing what he's doing wrong. He's trying to improve upon it, but it's still failing. And he's now actually like questioning how he should deal with the guilt and the shame and how he can basically cope with it a bit like how can i make myself understand that this is okay and he says there is like real value to that um to that thought tra tra my train of thought or that thinking uh and that's basically it so um i start off with hey man i'm glad to hear that you're trying to find a route route that works for you and that you don't instantly feel like giving up it holds great value and it's your source of energy to try cave a new path on the river of life. I think there are a lot of good there are a lot of good things that you do, such as analyzing your behavior, triggers rewards that lead to a certain action, thought or behavior. Be proud of that. Not so easy. It is not so easy to do and especially being honest to yourself in that way. As to how to tackle your problem, there is no real practical solution I can give to you. That I can give to you. Search for what aspect of life that you really want to achieve above all. Search for what aspect of life, the thing you really want to achieve above all, and try to work towards that goal with all the energy and tricks that you have. As you gain momentum, that path will become clearer. Sometimes it gets cloudy, but when you realign yourself, you can see it again. The last part sounds a bit weird, but I believe it holds the essence. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyways. Last thing I want to tell you, don't forget to be happy. It sounds stupid to say, but if you look around, you can find it in the smallest things. Smash. Alright, that's another one for the books. Alright. Maybe the last one. Mm, I'll see if I find another one. But um, this guy on deciding to be better sounded red alarm 17. Maybe also a throwaway account though the name is very specific. Anyways, um, he wanted to get smarter, le learning more. So basically he's a guy in a dead end job um, that feels like he's not in the right environment that he wants to know how we can get more stimulated and challenged. Um, and he's asking for ideas how to tackle it or get smarter every day, basically. Um, so as for my answer, I already posted it by accident, but whatever. Um, I say, interesting topic. I like your approach and directness to tackle a problem. I'm sorry to hear that you're in a dead end job. I hope you find a better one soon. As to your question, I too wonder about it and for now I've come up with the idea from feeling this way to actually expressing this way. What I mean by that is that we like to think the environment around us is not suitable for us. I want a different one. But what we forget is the impact we ourselves have on our environment. We too shape what we interact with even if it is just listening a podcast or talking with friends on a less intellectual level. Um, so 
So basically what I meant, want to say with that, I was just thinking about how I should have plugged my channel in there, but whatever, that's for another time. Um, what I meant by that is um, that we all think that we are not part of the environment and that we have little impact on how things be, are being perceived around us or how things are around us. Um, we like to think that it's all the fault of other people or that we are not part of the problem while in, in reality like nobody is really the problem we're all just part of it and we have to take actions and responsibility for the things we want to change ourselves so instead I want to express what I think and how I feel about certain topics challenge the norm um, challenging the norm hmm. shit challenging the norm even if we are wrong, wrong and right is another discussion to be held, of course. Both parties can learn new things and improve our lives altogether. Be part of it instead of trying to disassociate from it. May. Definitely speaking from experience in a way. Bench. So, yeah, that was another one. Let's get uh, the next one. We have a little shorter one here, so just a guy is ready to quit again. Um, planning to quit but new withdrawals so it's basically just announcing it I think I recognize this a lot so I'm just gonna cheer him on good luck amigo I like your spirit I hope you have some good support systems to carry you through it though I believe you can do this as it doesn't sound like your first audio bench All right, this will be the last one for the night. I'm pretty tired. Um, it's four o'clock in the evening, so I guess it was a good session. Um, this one is on the subreddit addiction from Guitar Drago. Sounds like a real name, so like a real tag ID. Um, so struggling not to relapse. I recently had a friend who was a victim of suicide and didn't really speak to him much in the year before his death. He was my best friend, um, basically he lost somebody and he's been kicking ketamine. He's been clean for two and a half years and he's feeling the urge to uh, use again because um, he thinks he's going to feel closer to his past friend and um, he knows it's not the right uh, solution but his mind is telling him something else. Um, so this one is obviously a bit more heavy topic. Uh, I start off by, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. I admire your strength and openness to tackle this. Nothing can give back what you, what you, what you have lost that day. I myself have not fully grasped what we lose in that moment. I don't want to come off as belittling here. So I want I only want to state how I f how I feel about a similar um, a similar how I felt about a similar situation so far. Every day, I believe that we try to do things that would better us. Everyone on their pace and hopefully with the right amount of resources to support those actions. I know my friend would have given me everything he had to help me achieve my dreams. That's just how friends are for each other. I can't imagine he would ever let me go down the same path as he went. That is why I see it more as a strength for the common goal we shared. Don't let your mind play tricks on you into thinking that things will be better or similar to how it was before. That will unfortunately never happen again. Keep strong, my friend. I feel your pain. He knows you can do this. Bench. So, yeah. Obviously, I'm not clean as he is, so I'm definitely not in the same place as he is right now. He's doing it on another route. Um, but I can still respect that. I think it's a very good one. One that a lot of people travel 
but yeah, as you know, my heart is a bit more windy than maybe others. So let's see where mine ends. Um, but I'm just working on myself step by step. And this one is hopefully a next step. So I really enjoyed uh, doing these. Let's, let's use post this one. I really enjoyed doing these um, so that I can actually, yeah, just talk with people and share my opinion. And hopefully, you know, one text can make a difference about how somebody feels and what they would do with those um, feelings and actions in their head. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed um, me just sharing my thoughts with random people on Reddit. And if you liked it, uh, please subscribe. I know it sounds cheesy, but yeah, I just want to hit my goals, you know, and my goal is getting a thousand subs. I said it. I don't know when, but one day I'll have them. I'm going for them. As, ah, you see, I don't always subscribe to. I don't even know why I'm still talking. You know, 